I'm Rocker JCC here with something a little different than usual today. Um, I'm going to be reviewing an app. Yes, an app is in those things you download onto your phone. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Just like Angry Birds. Just like Angry Birds. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not reviewing Angry Birds. Not reviewing Angry Birds. Not space. Not seasons. Not Rio. None of the offsets. Not even the original either. I'm reviewing Song Pop. Song Pop is a new game from Fresh Planet Inc. and it lets you play a game of guess the song against either a Facebook friend or a random opponent. And if you've ever owned an iPod with one of these awesome clicky wheel thingies, it's pretty much basically the same idea as the music quiz games that are included on here. Now to summarize the gameplay, it's really simple but really addicting. Uh, you start out by picking an opponent, either through your Facebook friends list or just a random opponent they'll select for you. And then you're given uh, three categories of songs to pick from. Um, the basic ones that you're just given at the start are what, 90's Alternative, Today's Hits, 80's Collection, Classic Rock, Modern Rap, and uh, Love Songs but you're able to purchase extra categories after playing the game and earning its currency coins. Uh, there's categories like TV show themes, summer of 2012, disco, 60's collection, 70's collection, or uh, my personal favorite to stump people with, indie rock. Now with all these categories, there is kind of a downside to that because you will undoubtedly run into that one douchebag who picks K-pop or Latin radio. That is the point where I then just resign from that game. Simple as that. But anyway, you pick your category, then a song will play, and four options of either there will be song titles or uh, artist names, and you'll be able to pick the one that matches the song that's playing. So if Pumped Up Kicks is playing, you will hit Pumped Up Kicks. If Every Breath You Take is playing, you will hit The Police. And after uh, five go-rounds of this formula, your score will be added up with uh, by speed and um, overall like combo, I guess, like how many you've got in a row. Like, if you get all five in a row, that's boom points. But if you just like, get two right, then get one wrong, then get two more right, you won't get much because the combo, which is a little unbalanced in my opinion, but it works. Oh, and I guess I need to mention that there's this power-up you can use, which takes away two song choices, but no one, like, ever uses it. Ever. So, who cares? Now, finding people that you know to play Song Pop with is actually quite simple compared to a lot of games due to its Facebook connectivity. And not just your normal, hey, these people that are on Facebook with you, they also play this game. It actually has a Facebook game you can play on your computer through Facebook. And that is a great alternative for anyone who doesn't have a smartphone to play the app on. Um, I've, I've used it myself just to try it out. It, it works with the same interface as the app. Um, nothing really wrong with it, but I just don't like to use it as much because I'm not as quick speed-wise uh, using it because I guess I'm just quicker when you're like, ah, 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 instead of having to uh, move my mouse and click, click, click. You know what I mean? But it works. It's there if you want to use it. Now, the full app was originally free, but it's starting to gain some popularity and traction, so there's now a free version and a premium version. Uh, the free version... That was, of course, free. That was really redundant. Forget that I said that. Um, it has um, ads in it, which are really that bad. They don't come up that often. And when you do, it's a little short video you can watch, and you get coins for watching it. Or you can just skip it. I don't mind it that bad. And I think if you're addicted, the free version also limits the amount of games you can have to around a dozen, I mean. But unless you're crazy addicted, I wouldn't get the premium version, being as it's a uh, dollar ninety nine instead of just ninety nine. That's an extra dollar, but I understand maybe because of the whole. I definitely didn't just burp or anything. It's an extra dollar. I'm assuming due to the music copyrights or something. I'm not sure, but if I was you, I would just stick with the free version. Now I've been playing Song Pop for about three, four weeks now. I'm really addicted and really hooked. Um, it's really easy to just pick up and play. The interface borrows from Draw Something, if that tells you anything. Um, great, nice balanced song choices for each of the categories. Even though I do think that Nas's 
newer catalog especially comes up way too much. I don't even know why, but yeah, a really fun game. Um, I would recommend getting Song Pop free instead of the premium version, being as it's two dollars, which is a dollar more than any simple pick up and play app should be. I mean, unless it's like a really deep, deep game, you shouldn't be paying more than a dollar for it, in my opinion. But check it out. Uh, feel free to play me, Rocker underscore JCC. Um, Feel free to. Love to play with you. Oh, and to that music show, JP, play me back, bro. I am waiting. I know I'm beating you like six games to three at the moment, but for real, hurry up and play me back. I'm waiting, man. I'm waiting. Sorry about that, bringing personal vendettas into the YouTube world. I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. Me stupid. Bye.